Right, so a big change at FDJ today as they bin off Lapierre and go to Weir Triestina. Exciting news in some ways, and I'm going to go through why I think it is a good move based on some numbers that people have done based on how fast the bikes are. Interesting move for Willier itself, going for two World Tour teams. That must be a lot of money they're spending on this. Also interesting for uh, FDJ that Lapierre, obviously a French brand, no longer going to sponsor anyone in the World Tour. Will they move to a French pro quantity team in the future? Maybe, but obviously Direct Energy now on the Envy bike, which is interesting. So they're going to be running the Falante. Um, obviously not sure on the colorway, but that's kind of the only real bike they do. Obviously, they have a TT bike as well, the Turbine, which I reckon can't be quick uh, based on Astana being kind of useless. And they seem to have a guy whose full-time job is doing this stuff. So I think they the Turbine, probably not the best bike around. So Stefan Kung, not as good. But I think for the like classics people, um, I think it'll be really good uh, going on to the Volante. Now, Alban Laurent Zini, uh, I think is an unbelievable person to follow on Twitter. And um, he was saying kind of similar. I think the change could be good for Willier if, if it's confirmed. Um, because they never use the air code, which is the aero version of the FDJ bike. And the Zelius is not quick. So what what you can see here, this is Torn Magazine who do loads of aero testing. Um, and again, you can see here that these are, this is the setup they did. Um, and the speed of this was 220, uh, sorry, 211 watts. Uh, so it's kind of just like, no one knows what, what standards they are really, but basically 211 is good. Like the Canyon Aero, I think is 197 or something. So that's mega quick, but you can kind of roughly see like it is quick. And the old Aero co air code was 229 watts. So again, you can see here, um, if we get, sorry, uh, air code might not have been 229. This was the Lapierre, which was 229, um, which is pretty tough to be honest. You can see here 229 watts. So that was the bike they were mainly riding last year. I don't think they did um, any other ones. So saving 18 watts, if that's to be believed, is not bad at all. Um, and for me, at least, it, it shows that they are going to be improving uh, in terms of bike performance. Again, you can see here, this is already what we had said, the Lapierre. But if we go on to this image here, I believe it's the same setup. The, the, the Obviously, they're testing some Zip 404s, but the Lapierre here says like the air code 224 quickest. So you can see it's a way behind the Canyon Air Road and other people like that. So, you know, it, it does get to the point where you think, okay, the Lapiers, maybe they're not the best. I reckon the TT bike wasn't too bad. Um, again, if we look at some of the comments here, you can see that um, he reckons he doesn't believe the air code's faster. Um, and there's kind of some interesting points here. And again, the Willier, uh, I think, well, people just seem to think in general is going to be a little bit quicker um, than any other bike. So to conclude, I reckon this is actually quite a big brain move from FDJ. They probably get paid quite a lot. I think Lapierre was paying one and a half mil. So they might have got more money, but they definitely got a quicker bike. Um, just in terms of like this bike, it just can't be good um, in comparison to the, this bike, the Filante. I just don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's game changing in terms of the Willie is not like as good as other bikes, but I think it probably is game changing from going from a Lapierre to a Willier. Um, so yeah, I think all in all, good move for FDJ. Let me know what your thoughts are below um, on just like, is this actually an improvement gain? I assume they're going to still be sponsored by Shimano because they're a big Shimano team. Conti tires, you know, that is the good stuff. Obviously, Shimano Power Me is sad, but apart from that, pretty ideal setup for FDJ for 2024.